Okay, <clears throat> and uh, welcome to another nomadic video. So, in this one, I just want to look at Windows, uh, I think this is Windows 7, and uh, we'll just go through the very simple, um, simple part of setting up the users, following instructions to get the, the users right. Now this is a test image that I downloaded somewhere from the internet. Uh, it's got a sort of basic scoring engine, uh, very similar to the competition engines. Uh, it's not quite as polished as the, the real thing, but it's, uh, it's sort of along those lines. Let's just run the scoring report. Okay, so I don't have any points yet. Just, uh, just put this over here in the corner, minimize it, come back to it. So if you go into the README, and I'm just interested in users, so let me, uh, assuming that I read all the questions, uh, here it is, a list of authorized users, the administrators, and authorized other users, uh, and I'm logged in, it logged me in automatically as oqueen with the password green arrow. Now at this point you must write down your username and your password on a piece of paper because otherwise you're going to forget it, you're going to lock the computer down and you'll come back to it and you find you can't get in again. So write Oakley down and write Green Arrow down or alternatively we can change this to a well-known um, well password. Okay, so to maintain users if we go down to start this one, you press the Windows button, you get to here, you press the search, and we type in L-U-S-R-M-G-R dot M-S-C. Brings up L-U-S-R manager, local user manager, right click, run as administrator. I am admin, so it comes up. Okay, so let's look at these uh, users to start with. So we have a long list of users. We've got uh, some built-in ones, the administrator and the guest account. We'll come back to those later. So let's, first of all, let's get rid of uh, users that shouldn't be here. Let's just quickly read the readme. Uh, users. Let's say anything specific about, well, here we go. Any auth uh, unauthorized users should be disabled, not deleted. Okay, uh, there's always a risk of deleting user data in that it may be the answer to a forensic question, so possibly worth answering the forensic questions before you do this, but uh, we're okay here because we're just going to disable them. Their data will stay. So let's have back to the users. Let's do them one at a time. A Chase. A Chase doesn't appear to be on the list. Double click. Account disable. Okay, that one's done. <coughs> Administrator will leave for the moment. B Siren. B Siren is a user. We'll leave that one. C H Holt is a user. That's okay. C James. C James. I can't see. So we will disable that one. D Drake. Is a user. FS Moke is an administrator. We'll come back to that detail later. Guest is the guest account. J Diggle is an administrator. L Lance is the on the user. Oops. M Queen. M Queen is a user. N G Hall is a user. O Queen is me. Q Lance is a disabled user. Okay, so that's a user, so that shouldn't be disabled. Okay. And S. Wilson is a user, and T. Queen is an administrator. So now we'll just check that everybody is, uh, we can sort by name. So yeah, let's sort by name anyway. Uh, let's just check that there aren't any that we should create that we haven't got. So O. Queen we have, S. Moke we have. J Diggle we have, R Harper we have, 
Seek Holt we have, D Drake we have, R Ramirez we have, L Lance we have, S Lance we have, M Queen, where's the use on this one, Q Lance, S Wilson, G Hall and B Siren. So we have the right set. So now let's just check that uh, the correct administrators are set. So we go to groups and we double click on administrators for this. So administrator we could leave. We've got FMOS, FS Moke, that's correct. J Diggle, NG Hall should not be administrator. Remove. O Queen should be an administrator, R Harper should be an administrator, and T Queen should be, so that's fine. So we've got one, two, three, four, five administrators. One, two, three, four, five. That's good. Okay. Now back to users. So we'll ignore the disabled ones. Let's look at B Siren, and you could say member of. And let's just check they're not in any funny groups. So just one of the users, C Holt, is R. So C H C Holt seems to be a member of users and cryptographic operators. Well they're just a normal user, so we'll get rid of that. C James is disabled. D Drake. It's just a user, that's good. S Moke is administrator and a user, that's okay. Because FS Moke is an administrator, guest, or oh, guest of guest account. J Diggle is a member of administrators and users, that's correct because they're an administrator. L Lance is just a normal user, that's correct. M Queen is just a user, that's good. NG Hall is just a user, that's good. O Queen is an administrator, this is correct. Q Lance is a user, and R Harper is an administrator, which is correct. R Ramirez is just a user. S Lance. Is just a user. S. Wilson is a user. And T. Queen is an administrator. So that's correct. Okay, so it seems that everybody's in the right group and they're, uh, they're not, uh, they don't have any additional groups. So we've tidied that one up. So we now need to make sure that everybody has got a password set um, and that it's uh, strong enough that it uh, is not guessable. So if you look on this list, we can see that our Harper, for instance, got a password of password, um, and it, even these passwords are quite weak. So depending on the instructions, it's probably worthwhile changing everybody's password. Now you can do it through here. So we can, for instance, go to B Siren, and you can say, um, uh, how do you do it? No, we can do it there. Sorry, it's. Uh, we go over here, B Siren, more actions, set password, gives you a warning, and we can change it to something like um, uh, Nomad 101 exclamation mark. Nomad 101 exclamation mark. Okay. And you can go down uh, all of these. Well, maybe, maybe we should. Um, you can do them one at a time, but it's a bit painful. So there's actually a, a much quicker way, which is if you go to down to the Windows and run yourself an administrator command prompt. CMD is enough. Right click, run as administrator. Okay, now we have administrator prompt. We'll do net user, then the username, so for instance, be siren, and then the password. OK, 
okay and that changes their password you know so you can then very quickly go through them so oops, ch alt c change the stables we don't need to worry about that one d drake okay fs smoke Diggle. I mean, possibly not ideal for everybody's password to be the same, but uh, I think it meets the criteria for this one. Alarms. M Queen. HQL oh, Queen Q Blanche Oh Harper getting there slowly. Well, normally they have less users than this, this is unusually painful. S Lawrence, two to go, S Wilson, and T Queen. Okay, so everybody has got their password set to Nomad 101. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine characters. It's got upper and lower case letters, it's got numbers, and it's got funny characters. So that's a reasonably secure password, apart from the fact they're all set to the same thing. So now we need to write down that we have changed our password to this new value. But just bear in mind what it used to be, in case you find for some reason it hasn't stuck. But I think we're done for passwords. So let's uh, just, before we leave L user manager, let's just... Uh, run down enabled people and just check they haven't got any funny settings. So these ones down here, user must change at next logon, user cannot change password, password never expires. These four fields, let's just check that they're not set. So we would go around that one, that one, that one, that one. Okay, so we're all we're all good. So let's go and look at our uh, scoring report and see whether we got any points. Uh, so score report. Here we go. We've got five points for disabling uh, the bad users and setting the passwords of um, the other ones. So that's good. Now. That's pretty much it for L user manager. But you'll notice that we have administrator and guest here. So these are the, the default accounts. Now it's more secure to rename these accounts. Um, so you can either do it here with the rename, or what's better is to start applying security policies. So if we go and run up here, L sec poll. It's not else for secpol dot msc. Right click, run as administrator. Okay, so this is our local security policy. There may be a group policy that is overriding, but this is our local one, so we won't worry about group policy for the moment. Uh, and in account policies, so there's good things to do with passwords, which we'll come across another time, and lockout. But also within the local policies, security options, 
you have a number of uh, operations which relate to accounts. Uh, and I'm just going to do a couple of these here. So um, administrator account status, we're going to disable the administrator account. Okay, We're going to disable the guest account. We are going to, oh, we might as well do it whilst here, we're going to block all Microsoft accounts. And we're going to rename the administrator account to something uh, strong. So we'll go for Rambo. And we're going to rename the guest account to something uh, weak. So we'll go for Lumiere, be our guest. And there we go. So I think we just exit that. And if we come back here, we'll refresh. Sure, there is. Let's close use manager and run it again. L user MGR or MSC. Go to users. Uh, now we find we, our guest account is called Lumiere and our administrator account is called Rambo, and they are both disabled. So exit out of that. Let's see. Ah, okay, let's uh, wait for the scoring report to run. We now have 10 points. So, administrator account disabled, block Microsoft accounts. Uh, in fact, we've got points for all of those actions, got lots of points. So that's pretty much it for users. Um, let's just log off and just check we can log on again. Sign out. And users O Queen and Nomad 101 exclamation mark and we're back so that's uh, that's it for users and I think that's uh, that's it for this short uh, snippet the same principle applies to Windows 7 Windows 8.1 Windows 10 and server 2016 uh, these are easy points so you just want to make sure you go through them very carefully and, uh, and, and do all the easy things. Okay, thanks.